Before the egg of a fruit fly has even been fertilized, the egg's anterior A and posterior P ends can already be distinguished. During egg development, nurse cells in the mother's ovary deposit regulatory molecules into the egg. These molecules define AP axis of the egg and directly into the fly development will be directed. Among other regulatory molecules, the mother's nurse cells deposited two type of mRNA called bicoid and nanos into the egg. The bicoid mRNA localized to the egg's anterior end and the nanos mRNA localized to the egg's posterior end. The bicoid and nanos mRNAs are essential for normal head, thorax and abdominal development. For example, a larva develops abnormally if the mother fruit fly had a mutation in her bicoid gene. The larva develops abdominal segments at its anterior as well as posterior ends, lacks head and thoracic segments. The bicoid and nanos mRNA were transcribed in the mother's cell. The genes encoding these mRNAs are called maternal effect genes. The maternal effect genes are the first in series of genes that regulate the early pattern formation in the Drosophila embryo. After a normal egg is fertilized and laid, its nucleus begins to divide. During the early nuclear divisions, the developing embryo translates the bicoid mRNAs into proteins. It also translates the nanos mRNAs into proteins. At, it, at this point, the embryo has not yet partitioned into separate cells and the proteins can diffuse freely from concentration gradients across the embryo. The protein gradients are important because they regulate the embryo's own developmental genes. The embryo contains a number of genes that control the fly's segmentation pattern. These genes called segmentation genes operate in stages. Bicoid and nanos proteins regulate genes in the first stage, the gap genes. The bicoid protein is a transcription factor that enters nuclei at the anterior pole and triggers the transcription of a gap gene called hunchback. The hunchback mRNA is then translated into hunchback protein. Okay. Nanos has an opposing function. At the posterior pole, it inhibits the release of bicoid. The hunchback protein also forms a gradient. Like bicoid, the hunchback protein is more concentrated at the anterior end. And note that although we no longer show the bicoid and nanos proteins in the embryo, they are still present. Around this time in the fly development, the embryo's nuclei have migrated. This hunchback protein is a transcription factor that turns on other gap genes in the concentration dependent manner. For example, at mid range concentrations of the hunchback proteins, a gap gene called Kruppel becomes expressed. In addition to Kruppel, a number of other gap genes become activated in the embryo, defining the large area along the embryo's anterior posterior axis. The gap genes encode transcription factors that regulate the expression of another class of genes called the pair rule genes. The pair rule genes are expressed in stripes along the embryo, in dividing the embryo into units of two body segments each. Many of these genes encode transcription factors which control the expression of another class of genes called the segment polarity genes. Note that the cell membranes begin to form around the nuclei during this time of the development. The segment polarity genes are the last set of segmentation genes to turn on in the Drosophila embryo. The segment polarity genes become activated in a complex striped pattern that foreshadows the segmented body plan of the adult. By the end of this cascade, nuclei throughout the embryo know which segment they will be part of in the adult fly. The next set of genes in the cascade, the Hox genes, determines the form and function of each segment. These genes are expressed in the embryo long before the structure of the segments such as the legs or antenna actually appear. These genes are grouped into antennapedia cluster and bithorax cluster. Hox genes encode a family of transcription factors that are expressed in different combinations along the length of the embryo and help determining the cell fate within each segment.
how do we know that hox genes determine segment identity an important clue come from the number of bizarre mutations observed in drosophila one mutation caused the mix mis expression of an antenna pda gene normally the gene is expressed in the thoracic segment where the legs are later developed in that mutant the gene is mis expressed in the head and the mis expression causes part of the head to take on thoracic identity with the development of legs in the place of the antenna in the head of the drosophila